sleep with me? No. Why? Well, if I had him just once, he'd be my bitch for at least three weeks. Your bet is on three weeks, eh? I really admire how you challenge the opposite sex. Really make them chase you. Yeah, well, at least I'm not late for my second meeting of the day. The time clock isn't going to be the only change around here. Over lunch, I had the smoke detectors reactivated, so from now on, smoking is only permitted on the patio deck. What? If you have a better idea, I invite you to put it in the new suggestion box outside of my office. I'm also going to be meeting with each of you individually to discuss your production quota over the next year. Presuming you last the year. Well, thank you for volunteering to go first. Be in my office in ten minutes. He's so anal, isn't he? I miss Max. But the patio's really nice. Ooh. It's for Amal. It's always for Amal. <gasps> okay, I got one. What do you call a person who speaks two languages? Bilingual? And then, what do you call a person who speaks only one language? American. <laughs> we had an appointment. This disrespect is completely unwarranted. Unwarranted. You made me swipe in like a common perro. Look, I've been brought into this office to make things we run smoother. We may not work in a typical American fashion, and this may not be the top translation company in the world. Yeah, I But got... we do our work and we do it well. Why do you feel the need to alter what is successful by attempting to dominate us in this pathetic manner of yours? sealed the deal. You know, I was actually thinking about quitting, about going to Mr. Anton and saying, I don't need this kind of aggravation in my life. But now, now I know that the only thing keeping you from being the best translation company in the world is a little structure. Now, I may not speak five languages or know how to make the best cup of coffee, and I sure as hell don't know how to solve the problems of the Middle East. But I do know how to run an office. So do your worst.